Almost in that Oh, order. contact with your leaders. Three wide, and it moves Hansen out of the way. Buddy Shepard puts the bumper, and Holtz is going to follow through. Oh, man, they are not playing around. Side by side out of turn number two, squeeze play. They're slamming doors down the back straightaway. Who wants it more? Three laps to go at the line. It'll be two. They're hitting again down the front straightaway. More slamming, trading paint into turn number one. It ain't done. Hanson. Shepard. Who's going to get it? Next time they're going to see the line, it'll have the white flag waving. Shepard has the defense line. He's on the outside. Hanson. He might need to rough him up to get that line One side by side. Lap to go. Hansen versus Shepard. Shepard on the outside line. Hansen's going to have one more opportunity. They throw it into turn number three. Hansen with the bumper. Not just Shepard. They're sideways out of the corner. They're having more contact. Jace Hansen takes the victory with a bump and run. Unbelievable. We saw this building up from the start of the race all the way to the checkered flag. Now, my question, watching the top two, is I got my answer. What did Buddy Shepard think of that one? Oh, and I can't man. imagine a world where Buddy Shepard's happy with it. No. Jay's Hansen used the bumper, not overly, but enough. He moved the 22. We didn't know what was going to happen as they came out of turn number four. It was a drag race to the line, and the 08 machine comes out the victor in one of the best 100 lap races Southwest Tour I have ever seen here at Kern County Raceway. Fans, what did you think of that one? I think we're going to have a lot of opinions about the end of this race. I cannot wait to hear from these drivers, Jace Hansen, the minivan marvel, has <laughs> taken it to victory lane. So I was still, I was still climbing K rails, uh -oh. and there's some action going on down here on the Ravens Trophy victory lane. Woo! In your own words, let's talk about those last three laps, man. Describe them for me. Man, I hate to race like that, but I also hate getting ran over 10 laps into the race. Got 100 laps. He doesn't even move you out the way. He should have known that was coming. I mean, that's just, if that's how he wants to race, I'm going to race that way. I could have passed him clean. If that caution didn't come out, we would have got by him clean. But I just can't deal with that, you know? We, we work too hard on these race cars, and we try too hard, and then to get moved out of the way 10 laps into the race, it's just stupid. We got eight, 90 more laps to go. Like, whatever. It, oh, he deserved every bit of that little shot I gave him, but... Uh... I mean, I was just mad. I mean, gave him the inside line there for 10, 15 laps, and, I mean, he just couldn't get by me clean. He's lifting me up down the straightaway, dormant me down, down the straightaway. So it's just, just uncalled for, you know, we're taking cheap shots with $100,000 race cars. We don't even be doing that. So, um, you know, I got him there at the beginning. Like, I had Dan Holtz inside me. I just, I can't stop, you know. Uh, he was holding holding me up, and uh, and I had Dan Holtz inside me, and I had to, had, to, had to do something. So, I mean, he was parking it, so. 